Hello friends! Today is a very special day because Chibitronics and my favorite things are meeting for a collaboration. This time I want to show you how to create a light up card using the Snuggle Bonnie stamp set. Here are the Chibitronics items I'm using today and I want to create a parallel circuit. You can find all the instructions for the different circuits in our sketchbook. I start stamping my images with my Misty and I'm using my Mentor Tuxedo Black Ink because I want to color the images with my Copic markers. I'm double stamping all the images because when they are new sometimes they um, doesn't stamp well. For my teddy bear I'm using E35, E34, E53, E30 and RV00 for the cheeks. I'm starting with my darkest color and I'm blending in with my lightest color. For the bunny I'm using T5, T3, T2, T1, T0 and also for the cheeks RV00. I sped the coloring quite a bit because it took a while and I didn't want to bore you with some more or less good Copic coloring. I think there are more artists that are much better than me so you could watch them coloring. And for the bed I'm using BG32, BG23, G00, G000 and G0000. And also B V thirteen, B V sixty six and B V sixty three. I tried not to blend all the colors very well because I wanted some texture and for me it needed like a feathering technique look, so this is what I tried for. And after finishing all my coloring I fully cut my images because I don't own the dies but I'm totally fine with this. I like fully cutting and um, now you can see a little sketch I've created because I wanted to know where to place my, my images and this is for the back of my card panel so the light won't shine through all the card because I wanted the lights to shine only through the cut out pieces. I hope it makes sense for you, but I guess you will see it in this video. So now I'm penciling where to put my stars and my little moon and where the sinking cloud um, will be later. And I'm stamping it with Wurzel Mark ink pad and using white embossing powder. You can barely see it but it is there. So this is why you can see my head in the camera because I truly couldn't see it very well. I'm using here tumbled glass, blueprint sketch and chip sapphire distress ink and I'm creating an ink blended background and now you can see all my stars that I heat embossed. And I wanted to mention that my card panel, the front layer, is really thin paper. It is about 80 grams. I don't know what it is in English. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that, but, but it's, it's really, really light paper. So you could see later my um, the sinking speech bubble thing. And now I'm tracing all the pieces onto my card base. I'm using here the black panel as a, a stencil so I know where to place everything. And now I'm drawing in my battery. So I can create my circuit now. For me it is the easiest way to plan everything before 
sometimes <laughs> because I had this idea in my mind already when I purchased the stamp set so I really knew from the beginning what I wanted to do sometimes I start crafting and the idea comes while crafting so I can't plan everything but if I'm able to plan I like to do it so it is easier for me and I don't create such a mess. I'm taping down my copper tape and I'm using my bone folder and to create the edges I always like to bend my copper tape back and then forward and then I get easy and clean edges. So this is our first string and now the second one and here I found it really easier to use just my fingers instead of using the bone folder but later I will use my bone folder to press the copper tape really good to the paper because if I use only my fingers it isn't really sticked down to the card panel, to the card base, sorry. Now the circuit is almost finished. I use only one LED to check if everything is working. Now I can place all the remaining LEDs down to the card base. And for my thinking bubble, I stamped the sentiment on some vellum with Versamark ink pad and I heat set it and used black embossing folder. And now, in theory, everything was working really well, but practically, or in practice, I can see that I had to switch some things. You couldn't really see I miss you, so I thought maybe some more LEDs would help, but it, it did a little bit. But if I hadn't known this before, I would have done it a little bit different. I would have tried to avoid sticking three LEDs one on top of another. And now I'm starting with gluing my card um, to put it together. I use here foam tape and also liquid glue. The liquid glue helps me to place my night sky background because in case I don't glue it down straight to the card base I can move it a little bit so it is easier for me to have all the stars on top of the LEDs. I hope it makes sense for you. And I cut down the bottom of the night sky because I always like to try to hide the thickness. So it helps me with blazing all the with all the foam tape and now I'm cutting down the piece where the battery will be so it has a little more wiggle room I, I think it is and because of the layers from the clouds it doesn't is really pressed to the paper and won't shine all the time I'm really sorry, it is really hard for me to explain what, what I was thinking and what I am doing. But I hope you can see it in my videos. This is why I do the videos, because in my opinion it helps more than just telling or writing. And here I did the same procedure. I used the liquid glue to tape the clouds down. And now I can start to tape my bunny down. And I put down my glue tape, my glue glider, and then I reminded that I want to use the press sentiment on top of the battery so the recipient knows where to press. So I put my anti-static powder bag on top of the glue and now it isn't sticky anymore and I can easily stamp my sentiment on the image. I'm using here Versafine ink pad because this one is really black ink and now my card is almost finished. I just have to tape down 
my images. I like to use here my tape glider because I don't really like liquid glue. I just use it for small images like the teddy bear because I want to avoid the glue sticking to things I don't want to and everything is working. I really am obsessed with checking all the time because I had it already that I finished my card and then the circuit wasn't working anymore because I didn't check. My camera went off because the battery was down. I heat set my sentiment and now my card is all finished. I hope that you enjoyed my collaboration project for Chibitronics and My Favorite Things. In case you are interested in more Chibitronics and My Favorite Things projects, please click here on some video samples. Thank you and bye.